All right, I want to try to show you real quick, or at least talk to you about two of the big main ingredients we need for rainfall, especially really good rainfall. We need that Gulf of Mexico moisture. It's been wide open, just pumping in moisture here into Texas over the last several days. And then we need lift. You got to have the lift. We've had our main jet stream off towards the north. We've had our southern branch, our subtropical uh, jet stream uh, streaming in from the southwest off towards the northeast. And we've had little bitty impulses. That's that red and yellow working through, giving us lift, giving us some isolated showers but we need something bigger, really big, large scale uh, lift out towards the west. That's going to be digging down into the southwest and western US. Looks like a big bowling ball sometimes. And as that works in, we're really going to see that jet stream moving into Texas. That is great news for us because that really provides that lift. We're going to have a surface cold front. And again, you got to have something take that warm, moist air and push it up and help uh, produce some uh, rainfall for us. And that's what we've had in the wave of these little bitty disturbances moving through the last couple of mornings. And again, talked to you last night, we'd see some energy working in from Mexico lifting to the northeast. Unfortunately, again, a lot of it would stay just outside of the heart of central Texas, but our northwestern zone saw some of those isolated showers. We'll see some more rainfall, another uh, disturbance, little energy out towards the southwest, starting to see some returns out there. We'll be lifting off towards the northeast overnight tonight. Some isolated showers possible through the day tomorrow. Some more energy lifting through some isolated showers possible. Then we really see that big bowling ball starting to affect us and giving us some widespread rainfall as we go into the midweek. Let's go hour by hour for you. Clouds build back in some isolated showers drizzle possible winds. I think they're going to stay too strong for very dense fog, but maybe some light fog overnight into early tomorrow morning. Some scattered showers possible best chances along or west of 35 really through the whole day. A few isolated showers and even a couple of thunderstorms not out of the question through the day. Not everyone's going to see rainfall, but it's there. Better rain chances start ramping up as we go overnight into Tuesday into Wednesday. Could see a batch of scattered showers and thunderstorms out towards the west. Maybe some lightning. Heavy rainfall is going to be our primary concern with thunderstorms as we go Tuesday into Wednesday. Maybe some gusty winds and some small hail at times. We'll keep watching that for you. Scattered showers and thunderstorms stay with us off and on into the day on Tuesday. Tuesday night into Wednesday, cold front moves in, really provides some good lift for us and widespread scattered showers and thunderstorms going to be hanging with us looking possible. Right now, just going 60%. Look for some of these to maybe bump up as we go through the next couple of days. Meteorologist Megan Massey will have an update for you as we go into Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, we're going to be seeing our temperatures falling starting out in the 60s and could be in the 40s by the afternoon. And then check this out as we go into Thursday by Thursday morning. Rainfall totals could be in the one to three inch range. I know you're seeing some fours on there. We need a lot of rainfall. I don't mean to tease you about it, but again, models hinting here at the chance for some really good beneficial rainfall. Don't look at the exact number in the exact location. Just take away that heavy rainfall is possible. And I know there's a lot of people out there that have really been asking me for it for several uh, weeks now, even a couple of months. It's a much needed rainfall, Zach. You're going to let down a lot of people. It's if this the best come chance, to fruition. Man. Yeah. I, All right. I'm we're scared. looking forward to it. We're going to hold you to it, Zach. Up next. We're